part three of the function review already. Holy moly, this is fast. I uh, hope you guys are taking a second to uh, digest all this stuff that you're relearning, I guess. So uh, in this one, we're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing functions. Uh, I'm actually going to skip the adding. Uh, the way that we had been doing that in class was like, if you wanted to figure out this, uh, I was having you guys find f minus g of x, which is the general case. And then you were using this answer to figure out f minus g of 3 or f minus g of 7. Okay, uh, but we're just going to skip straight to the uh, the rewriting and solving it without doing the general case. Okay, so th this is the important part. You need to remember this. F minus G of 3 can be rewritten as F of 3 minus G of 3. So what we're actually doing is we're finding F of 3, finding G of 3, and then we're subtracting them. All right. Uh, if we were, I guess I do need to mention this, if we were doing f of x uh, minus g of x, if we were doing it like that, this is the one where uh, if it's subtraction, you need to wrap this one in parentheses, and you would literally be putting 4x plus 5 for the f of x, and negative x plus 1 for the g of x. And that's why on this side you had to put parentheses because you're distributing this negative. You have to subtract the whole thing. Anyway, uh, I digress. F of 3, you just plug in 3 for the x. That's going to be 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. G of 3, you just plug in 3 for x. So you get negative x, sorry, negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. But you are subtracting those things. So this becomes 17 minus negative 2, which is 19. That's easy. Okay. So uh, make sure you rewrite it like this first. That's really going to go a long way in helping you. All right. Uh, G divided by F of 6. So this is the same thing as G of 6 divided by F of 6. All right. Uh, g of 6, we're just going to go up there to the g function and plug in 6 for the x. Okay, so this is going to be negative 6 plus 1, which is negative 5. Uh, and then f of 6, plug in 6 for the x here. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 5 is 29. And this ugly thing is the answer. You always want to check and see if that simplifies, but in this case, it doesn't. All right. Uh, F, this is a time symbol, not that uh, composition one. Uh, we're doing F times G of X. This can be rewritten as F of X times G of X. All right, and now, now here's where we're going to have to do that substitution part. All right, f of x is literally equal to 4x plus 5. That was in the definition. So I'm going to write 4x plus 5 with the parentheses times, and then g of x is literally equal to negative x plus 1. They tell us that in the beginning. Negative x plus 1. And now we're going to multiply these two beautiful things and see what comes out on the other side. So we're going to have to do the double distributive property here. 4x times negative x. Uh, actually, I'm going to write it below. That's equal to negative 4x squared because we had two x's. And then 4x gets distributed over there too. 4x times 1. That's 4x as well. Uh, and now we're going to do the positive 5 times both of these on the right which 5 times negative x is negative 5x. Positive 5 times 1 is positive 5. And now we're going to look for like terms, common terms, things that have the same letter and the same exponent. Right there, those two in the middle. It's always nice how it works out like that. Negative 4x squared minus x 
because it was a positive 4 and a negative 5. And then plus 5. And that, my friends, is our answer. All right. So we rewrote it as f of x times g of x. We made our little substitution like that. And then we multiplied it and simplified it like we, uh, you know, we've been doing that since the beginning of the year. Uh, I think that's good. All righty. Good luck out there.